Hey guys, how's it here with uh, Oblivion? We're going to continue on. <sighs> okay. We should be here. It should be right here. in here and my throat hurts okay it's like straight ahead or something Okay, Crumbles. And some dude that's been here for I don't know how long, I'm opening my bottle of water so I can drink from it. I have been waiting for you, Your Grace. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Shea Gorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shale Gorath, then ask me what you will. You were expecting a book. An ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of the stone. However, if you insist. <coughs> I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jigalak. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. Contained within its walls with the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature mortal or data. Every birth, every death, rise of Tiber Septum and Aminium, everything. All predicted with the formula found within Jigalag's library. When Shea Gorath discovered the library, he had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigalag. Following each cycle of the Grey March, Shea Gorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Shea Gorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he's confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate, predictably, sent you to me. As you wish. Music. <laughs> Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me of grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not, and you will not. <coughs> Individuality? Yeah. Yeah. I ever know. I hate when it goes light again. Make me think there's something new to that category. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. 
I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision and thus requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the Howling Halls of Mania. You find her and bring me the eye that has seen that which no other has. <laughs> the trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Yes, only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. The staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. I can create the physical shell of the staff. The staff of Sheogorath contains a portion of the divine power of the Daedric Prince. It is the embodiment of Sheogorath and of this land. Should you succeed, you will be the first mortal to have a dedicated Daedric artifact in your possession. This will be most interesting indeed. Hmm. Hmm. You're free, dude. Run around. I don't care. But what you need to do is go here and apparently all the way over here. Since over here is closer, which I can just go over here. And just run to it. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go to that other that tree first, I believe. Get that out of the way and then go to the Howling Holes, I guess, whatever it's called. Soundtrack of this game. The music, like this song right now, is calming. If you're wondering, <laughs> I don't want to get fucking changed. Die, bitch. Oh. Wrong way, dumbass. It's not as far as I thought.
Oh, here he is. Looks like we're here, and let's, let's see what's in here. Gold. And a random dirt in your urn. Seriously. Okay, here's it looks like the entrance is for No, it's not right here. It's back over here. Apparently I didn't notice it or something like that. <clears throat> okay, I guess I have to go across to that. Over here. Oh, there's the entrance, man. It's freaking annoying. There we go. There's a home of this be bastards. Okay, we need to go through here. Or that sounds too easy. I arrived at the group of re reflection. According to Dinos, I must look at the trees' shades by a way to reveal my true self before I get one allowed to take one of its branches. make a save. Okay. Oh my god, it's me, no. Glot. That's hilarious. For and the nine. That's something I would not say. I approached the groove of reflection. A showery image of myself appeared from the waters of the groove. Intact me. I defeated it. Now the tree of shades is returning to me. I killed myself. Can I loot myself? Oh, I want to extra wait about his, about his weapon the shouter end what is that what does it do <clears throat> hmm. so yeah this guy's like a copy of you Whatever. Now, where did I get my 
branch, branch, branch. Red kill. <laughs> As Tate, whoever dies, does, whoever. Of course, that I've taken a branch of the tree of shades and then he's, he goes, Howling Holes. Okay, cool. It was just like easy, man. Hey, cool teleporter. And we're gonna continue this in the next episode. I'm gonna try to get close to the other place as best as I can. So, see you in the next episode. Bye.